Welcome to DevOps mock interview. If you are interested in preparing for DevOps interviews and want to crack interviews with your efforts, then I can prepare you for mock interviews. If you are interested, email me at awslearning1992 at gmail.com. Let us go to our DevOps mock interview questions today. The first question is, what is Terraform modules? Why do you use it? I'm going to repeat the question again. What is a Terraform module? And why do you use it? Think about it. You should remember this from your experience from Terraform or from your learnings from Terraform training. Got the answer? Now let us see how to answer this particular question. Terraform modules are basically structured ways that can help you to avoid a repeatable code in your Terraform structure, okay? So Terraform modules are basically modularized code that you can basically import from an open source repository and start using it. Terraform modules will help you to avoid repetition in your code base, and most importantly, all of your modules will have a standard structure and versions available. You have a lot of modules present in what we call a Terraform module registry. You can access this in the website, something like this. You can see here, this is AWS VPC model, Terraform module, and this is the Terraform module for VPC. What does it say is that this module will help you to create AWS VPC and it is maintained in this location. You just need to pass the inputs as per the requirement and then start using the mod mod module. In your company, when you start working with Terraform, you will end up writing so much of resources, right? You will probably have five to 10 number of VPC, a lot of subnets, security group, network gateway, S3 buckets, etc. It becomes a problem if everyone starts writing a resource block and hence we use what is called a Terraform module. Now, how to answer this in, this in the interview? If they ask you, have you used a Terraform module? If they ask you this question, you can answer something like this. Yes, I am aware of what is Terraform module. Terraform module help us to modularize our code base to maintain a structure in our Terraform repository that we use for our infrastructure and also make sure that all of the code that has been written are of a particular standard, which is present in the open source repository offered by Terraform itself. That is open source registry offered by Terraform itself. I have been using Terraform modules for resources like VPCs, S3, et cetera. And I plan to extend this to other resources also. This is how you can answer this question in the interview. Let's go to the next question now. The next question is, observe carefully, what is the VPC and what component in VPC will allow you, allow internet traffic into the VPC? What is the VPC and what component in VPC will allow you internet traffic into the VPC? Think about this. This should be either covered in the VPC session that we had, or if you are working already in AWS, you should have observed this in the VPC console. Okay, so what is VPC? VPC, as the name suggests, is known as Virtual Private Cloud. It will help you to make sure that in the same AWS account, you can run multiple different projects of different natures without interacting between each other. It basically creates a virtual network inside your AWS account, simple. What component in VPC will allow internet traffic? Internet Gateway, right? Internet Gateway is a serverless module that is available in AWS that when attached to a VPC will allow public internet to flow through the VPC. This is the definitions of VPC and what is the component that will allow the traffic into the VPC. Now, how do you answer this question in the interview? Here is how you can answer it. VPC, like I'm aware, is called as virtual private cloud, meaning in the same AWS account, if we are running 
different projects that don't need to interact between each other are, are completely different business models. We can separate them by creating a VPC. By default, if you create multiple VPCs in your AWS account, they won't be interacting. Hence, it is secure and also make sure that you have the granularity of your projects. Second, if your VPC has some resources that needs to be accessed via the internet, then what you can call as internet gateway can be attached to the VPC, which when attached will allow the internet traffic to flow to our VPC system. Now, VPC and Internet Gateway are both an important component in our network security. In my current team, when I joined, VPC and Internet Gateway and all of this were already established. Hence, I didn't really work on it much, but I'm aware of these concepts already. And I will try to implement if it is required with the knowledge that I have currently. This is how you can explain these questions in the interview. That is all for this video. If you are again interested in taking up mock interviews, then reach me out in the email ID that you see in the bottom of the screen. If you like this small video, kindly please like and subscribe so that it will help me to motivate and put more and more videos. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and prepare for your interviews very well. Bye-bye.